cruise ships generally avoid the most turbulent waters to ensure passenger safety and comfort. However, some ocean regions have become notorious for their rough waters due to extreme weather conditions or geographic location. In this selection, we take a look at 10 of the roughest waters that are still used for cruising, despite the difficulty of navigating these waters. Temperamental Caribbean, located in the tropics of the Atlantic Ocean. You may be surprised to see the Caribbean on this list due to its incredible popularity as a cruise destination, but these waters can pose serious challenges during certain months of the year. Hurricane season presents particularly rough seas for cruise ships and other types of vessels. During this time, the naturally warm waters for which the region is known meet cooler air temperatures and water currents, as well as tropical storms and full-blown hurricanes, and lasts from early June to the end of November. However, the winter months can also bring unexpected weather patterns. The distant Bering Sea, located in the North Pacific Ocean near Alaska, the Bering Sea, located in the uppermost part of the Pacific Ocean, separates the upper part of North America from Russia. If you want to see Alaska's wildlife from the comfort and luxury of a cruise ship deck, there's a good chance you'll pass through the Bering Sea. Like other cold water seas with converging currents, the Bering Sea can be incredibly difficult for ships to navigate. The rough and icy waters have made travel incredibly difficult and deadly for hundreds of years. Today, cruise ships are equipped to navigate the unpredictable climate and icy waters of the Bering Sea, but that wasn't always the case. Bering Sea cruises typically depart from Vancouver or Tokyo. They traverse this vast, desolate body of water in passenger comfort. The contrast between the world's stormiest sea and the serenity on board can make your northern cruise adventure even more memorable, especially between February and April. Drake's Passage. Located between Argentina and Antarctica, Drake Passage is one of the world's most notoriously treacherous bodies of water, located between Cape Horn and the South Shetland Islands. For centuries, ships have passed through this narrow passage between the Southwest Atlantic and the Pacific. Due to the narrow opening and strong currents at this latitude, huge waves and rough water are common. Although in the past the idea of passenger ships crossing the Drake Passage for pleasure might have seemed like an absurd risk, many luxury Antarctic cruises now pass through it as part of their itinerary. These cruises cater to the more adventurous passengers who dream of seeing the thriving colonies of seabirds and penguins, as well as the countless icebergs and glaciers that make up the world's least visited continent. Fortunately, the specialized cruise ships that ply this once deadly body of water are equipped to handle the currents, waves, and chunks of ice that made it so dangerous. The turbulent Tasman Sea, situated in the Pacific Ocean between Australia and New Zealand. For those who enjoy an underwater cruise, exploring the Tasman Sea and its many islands can be an unforgettable and enjoyable adventure. The Tasman Sea also has unstable weather and quite rough waters. One of the things that makes this body of water so challenging for cruise ships and other types of vessels is that the weather and water are extremely temperamental, meaning they are prone to sudden changes. Planning a trip can be difficult, as the water can be calm one minute and incredibly choppy and dangerous the next. The many islands scattered throughout the Tasman Sea have attractive cliffs and caves, and the unique species of marine life and birds are a sight to behold. Most Tasman Sea cruises allow passengers to explore the coasts of Australia and New Zealand. With both countries being popular travel destinations, the opportunity to visit both in one cruise vacation can be exciting. The infamous North Atlantic Crossing, located in the Atlantic Ocean between North America and Europe. For those interested in history, it will come as no surprise to see the same waters where the Titanic sank on our list of cruise ships. This area is known for its unpredictable weather conditions, which are only exacerbated by its remoteness. This body of water is also known to be filled with icebergs, powerful waves, and really bad storms. In addition, the water can be incredibly cold during certain months of the year, 
as travelers on the Titanic experienced firsthand. While the crossing can be incredibly difficult at times, the fact that it connects North America to Europe also means that it has been and continues to be one of the most important ocean crossings in the world. You'll find plenty of flights between Southampton in the UK and New York in the US, especially on iconic ocean liners like the Queen Mary II. Fortunately, modern cruise liners are equipped with the stabilizers, powerful engines, and streamlined design necessary to navigate the world's roughest seas safely and with minimal inconvenience to passengers. If you want to avoid the worst of what this crossing has to offer, we recommend not booking a cruise that departs between December and February. Although some cruises still depart during these months, passengers should be aware of delays and the type of rough seas that can cause significant discomfort for those who are sensitive to seasickness. The Moody Mediterranean, situated between Southern Europe and North Africa, the Mediterranean is another extremely popular cruise destination that may surprise you to see on this list. While the waters can be incredibly calm, they can get choppy between fall and winter. Strong winds and frequent storms can make the waters choppy during this time. When the hot air from Africa meets the cooler air of Europe, the storms and winds can create the waves that have killed countless ships crossing the Mediterranean over the centuries. Cruises in the Western Mediterranean that explore the waters off the coasts of Spain and Italy can be particularly challenging during the fall months, when the region can experience storms that border on tropical in strength. Bay of Biscay. Location between France and Spain. If you've ever looked at a map of Europe, you've probably noticed the huge gulf off the west coast of France that separates northern France from northern Spain. This natural barrier between two European countries is called the Bay of Biscay, and it is a heavily trafficked body of water for both cruise and cargo ships. Although cruising the Bay of Biscay is common for cruise ships sailing from the UK and Scandinavia to the Mediterranean, it is actually an incredibly rough place. This is partly due to the huge bay's changeable weather and strong winds. Ships crossing the Bay of Biscay also have to contend with rough and fast-moving currents. This combination of high winds and strong currents entering the bay can cause high waves and other serious problems for cruise ships. As a result, the Bay of Biscay has developed a reputation among cruise passengers for bad weather and rough seas. One of the most notable events occurred in 2019. While crossing the Bay of Biscay as part of a transatlantic voyage, the crew of the cruise ship Norwegian Escape was forced to take extreme precautions. These included securing loose items and requiring passengers to assemble at locked assembly points. The Icy North Sea, location between the British Isles and northwestern continental Europe. Bordering some of Europe's most populous and wealthy countries, the North Sea is a common starting point for many European cruise lines. Although many cruise lines include a North Sea crossing in their itineraries, sailing through the North Sea can be incredibly challenging and one of the most turbulent in the world. The icy waters can become particularly rough during high winds, which are fairly common. Cruise ship captains navigating these waters must pay close attention to weather conditions to ensure the safety and comfort of their passengers. This partly explains why the North Sea has a reputation for being a rather turbulent place. In some cases, crews even advise passengers to stay inside the ship. One such example occurred in 2018 when the MS Marco Polo encountered extreme weather conditions, such as high waves and rough seas while en route from the Netherlands to Norway. In response, the ship's crew sounded the alarm and kept passengers indoors. Fierce Gulf of Alaska, a location in the North Pacific Ocean along the coast of Alaska, USA. Most people associate Alaska with harsh weather and a challenging landscape. Not surprisingly, the waters off the coasts of this rugged land can also pose serious challenges to those who navigate them, unless you enjoy the breathtaking views of the Inside Passage, 
which is protected from the open sea by a series of islands. The Gulf of Alaska's location along the curving coastline of southern Alaska exposes it to strong and swirling currents from the North Pacific. It is also regularly subject to high winds and severe storms. This combination often results in high waves and some of the roughest seas on the planet. In addition, the water can be filled with icebergs, which create their own problems. Cruise ships and their crews must be carefully prepared to navigate this remote and unforgiving body of water. Cruise lines usually keep a close eye on weather conditions and may change or adjust itineraries to avoid the roughest seas when possible while prioritizing passenger safety and comfort. South China Sea, the area between China and the Philippines. The South China Sea connects the Pacific and Indian Oceans, making it an important route for Southeast Asian cruises. Although the South China Sea is not new to cruising, it can pose serious problems for cruise ships and other large vessels. This includes territorial disputes over one of the world's most turbulent seas. This is partly because the region is prone to severe tropical storms, monsoons, cyclones, typhoons, and other types of severe weather, especially between July and November. This unpredictable and severe weather can cause serious disruptions and delays for cruise ships traveling along this important Pacific corridor.